in a world ravaged by mediocre podcasts. Three men bravely stand tall and hoist a different kind of flag. And on that flag, there are but five immortal words that read The Dave and Steve Show. All right, everybody. Uh, I want to bring a guest to the show now. He's a producer, he's an actor, uh, he's a stand up comedian, he's a sword fighter. I don't know if I left anything out, but without further ado, the man, the myth, legend. Paul Jacobson. All right, welcome to the show. Uh, now you go by Jake, is that correct? Yes, uh, my name is Paul Jacobson, and so and back in the third grade there was three calls in the class, so the teacher wasn't going to deal with that, so we all got nicknames, and I ended up with Jake. Wow. Jacobson, you know. So. Well, I guess uh, you could have had worse last names for them to go by then. So, Dave, did you did you look over? Uh, Jake's MySpace site. I did. I looked at. I, I've got the MySpace site up here as well as his IMDb page, which uh, we'll get to in just a moment because I you do know, have a question one of about the things that. Things that I was very intrigued with was his picture slideshow, and not because of all the other celebrities that he may have been seen with here and there, but Jake, there was one person in your slideshow that I really had a question about. It looked like a very much younger you. Uh, standing with Timothy Leary. Timothy uh, Leary. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Say that again, Jake. I, 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 the, the picture of me and Timothy Leary. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, that's me and Timothy Leary. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that clears it up, Tracy. <laughs> when was it taken? When did you have the picture taken, Jake? Oh, uh, uh, well, that was uh, um. Which is the weird thing for me doing an anti marijuana website thing. I used to own a head shop. Oh, wow. In Athens, Athens, Ohio, which is the home of Ohio University. Right. Not Ohio State, Ohio U. Yeah, the Bobcats. Uh, Tim- Timothy Leary came into the, the, uh, into town and he was doing like this, uh, lecture series and I, I ran into him. It, the funny thing is, if, uh, what, uh, I met, uh, Ken Kesey, you know who Ken Kesey is? Right. He wrote one for the Snaps, yep. and basically the leader of the Merry Pranksters. If it wasn't illegal to tell you what Ken Kesey gave me, I'd tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was coming up from the band, and it was a wall of color. That's all I have <laughs> Well, I, I wanted to, um, another photo that I saw you with um, that that piqued my interest, among other things, is you're standing next to the lovely Brittany Murphy. Oh, well, well, I, I put the Little Black Book, the movie Little Black Book. I moved to L.A. I'm six weeks in L.A. I go to do background work, and I, I the uh, A.D. comes up to me the second day I'm there, he's like, uh, the director likes it. I was wondering if you had five weeks for it. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I could clear up my schedule. <laughs> I ended up doing the that book with Brittany Murphy, Holly Hunter, and Kathy Bates. Wow. And I, I tell you, Britt was a sweetheart. I've run into her. Since then I've run into Holly Hunter since then. Holly, I mean, for Oscar winners and for you know, Multi-million dollar, you know, contract actresses, sweethearts, all really, really nice people. Well, I think more importantly, my question would be, uh, does Brittany Murphy smell nice? Uh, well, uh, you'd have to smell my beard. No. <laughs> wow, <laughs> wow. Breaking news all around here. My you goodness. You know, I, I, some, I this woman asked me to go out. And she said, "Let's go eat and have sushi." I said, "I will not eat any raw fish that can't thank me afterwards." <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Well, uh, Dave, Dave's really jealous because he'd drink her bath water. 
I absolutely would, yeah. I would I would suck her bath dry with a crazy straw. Absolutely. I tell you, she's a sweetheart. No anal access, but she's a sweetheart. <laughs> And you know the highlight at the anorexic birthday party? <laughs> what? Wait. The out of the girl. Okay, I missed that, Jake. You got to repeat it. Uh, I guess it was the highlight at the bulimic birthday party when the cake jumps out of the girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Hey, I hey, am well, really, really horrible. You gotta, you gotta fill these guys. Parents. Oh, you gotta fill these guys in on your the Teen Choice Awards. Uh, Justin knows. Justin knows. I've made people actually uh, give up Christianity with my humor. <laughs> uh, so you have to. I I don't know if you can hear Justin or not, but uh, he said you have to. You have to fill us in on the Teen Choice Awards. Oh, the teen, well, it was, the Teen Choice Awards is cool. I get, I read, um, I get booked. They're doing a spoof on Pirates of the Caribbean. So the, it was two years ago, or two, three years ago, on it, for the Teen Choice Awards. It was uh, they had Dane Cook was the host, and they had this whole spoof thing where he comes in on stage, you know, on a pirate ship. It's a live show, so you know the the pirate ship comes in on stage and. Jessica Simpson's in this treasure chest that they had already placed on stage like two minutes earlier. And the thing was, I'm on the bow of the ship, so I'm right up front. Right. And we had to rehearse this thing a few times because it's live, you know, before they went to air. And every time, Jessica Simpson had to get into the treasure chest, which was right in front of the bow of the ship. <laughs> and she had to get down on all fours and get in the chest, you know, and I'm not. I'm not sexist, but a woman on all fours. <laughs> well, yeah, and come on, it's it's Jessica Simpson. And it's a really nice push. It's like when, in Little Black Book, in Little Black Book, there's a scene where Holly Hunter climbs on the desk next to me, and I instinctively looked at her ass. <laughs> I, I mean, it's an Oscar-winning ass, not yeah. that the ass has won Oscars, but she's won Oscars, and it's her ass. Well, yeah, I you think know, the I mean, ass was a big part of it. Dude, <laughs> I tell you, what's, what's that show she's on now, Saving Grace? Yeah, yeah. I, I'd like to, to, to say, I'd like to shave Grace, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> she's, uh, she's really attractive in that. She's, you know, kind of playing the downtrodden. Um... She's cute. Dude, she is such a cool. I'll tell you, you know how I knew Holly Hunter was cool? One day, like, uh, third day or fourth day I'm watching, she comes to set. She has to get into the shoes that she's wearing for her character, right, which are, like, these open toe shoes or something. She hops up on the deck, pulls off her shoes, pulls off her socks that she's wearing, sniffs them, goes, I can't wear these again, you know, and throws them to the side. And I'm like, any Oscar winner who can sniff her own pretty socks is fucking hit with me, man. <laughs> Uh, so I've got a couple more questions though for you. One is, first of all, back to the Pirates of the Caribbean real quick. Do you have any really good stories from the set? Anything you can you oh, can share? That story. Uh, I was actually out back having cigarettes. You know, which uh, you know, pirates didn't really smoke cigarettes, but they didn't have filters back then. Right. That's right. I was out. You know, it's, we're we're on the you know, old town set of Universal, which is. You know, three-dimensional set. It's like an actual little city. Sure. So I'm out on the back side, w away from camera. You know, having a cigarette, and um, this kid comes up to me, and he's like, "I, I'll, I have a real sword too." And I'm like, "Sure, you do, matey. I'll be a pirate someday." <laughs> but, you know. And he comes back like ten minutes later with like a a kid-sized real steel cutlass. <laughs> and I'm showing him some moves, you know, I'm like being a, oh, all right, maybe, you know, Perry one, Thrust Perry, you know, right. all this shit. And all of a sudden, uh, there's Johnny Depp, the Captain Jack Sparrow's like, son, would you like to come watch the film being made? And he's like, okay, Dad. And it was Johnny Depp's too. Oh, wow. Playing it. And he turns, he, like, as he picks him up and, you know, he's carrying him back, he's like, thanks for entertaining me, boys. <laughs> 